from the Mike Eisenstadt Performance Studio, guess what? This is the Live Music Showcase brought to you by WMNF Tampa and listeners just like you out there in Radio Land. I'm Bill Dudley, and I'll be your host for the next 55 here or so. And today we have an old friend in the studio, Brian Rivers. He's here with his guitar. He's written some new songs. He's got a new CD coming out, or it's already out, and he wants to tell us about it. And we're going to let him start off with a song. What's this first one going to be, Brian? Um, I thought I would start at the end, uh, <laughs> at the end of the album, that is, um, with a song called If I Ever Get Out of Here. So, um, should I just go into it? Yeah, okay, good. Jump on it. If I ever get out of here and I ever get some kind of clue Looking over my shoulder, there's nothing left to say or to do Moving forward Looking back is Such a loser's move I could ride that merry-go-round But what's that gonna prove? Thumbing into the mountains So hard to believe How the summer has flown Hurricane blowing through town and all of my family back home Moving forward, looking back Such a loser's mood I could ride that merry-go-round What's that gonna prove? Don't know what's in the tea leaves What to call Stronger, most certainly kills. When over, looking back, such a loser's move. I could ride that merry go round, but what's that gonna prove? Looking over my shoulder one final time before I bid adieu. Time has come to move on from here and it's time to get some kind of clue. Yeah, I like the, I like the some kind of clue. Yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> Brian Rivers, our guest in today's li- on today's live music showcase here from WMNF, and we're happy to have Brian back with us. When was the last time you were on the show? On your show? Uh, believe it or not, it's been like 11 years. I'm no. Yeah, it's been that long, and I was on like every year, and I just thought, well, when I got when I got a new album out, I'll, you know, I'll bug Bill and, you know. It's been 11 years since you had a new yeah, album? That's, that's kind of embarrassing, but yeah. It, it's well, we won't tell anybody about that, then. Okay. No, I don't. Yeah, we won't keep that a about secret. It. Yeah. Well, tell us about the new album. Um, eleven years in the making, folks. Uh, and ele- <laughs> eleven songs on it. Um, uh, I would say um, it's it's pretty much speaks for itself. That what, what you hear is what you get. Except that there's a sort of psychedelic element. Get a little closer to, to your mic, there, sir. Uh, okay. A folkadelic element to folkadelic. it. Folkadelic, yeah, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. Um, uh, Robert Wegman uh, had a had a, a big hand in rock and um, roll guy. What's that? He's a rock and roll guy. Yeah, and and uh, yeah, he's he's more like XTC, Todd Rundgren, and stuff like that. But we intersect in in some you know interesting places, and and uh, we're <coughs> sort of you know mutual admiration. And so he uh, he uh, did this album. You know, we wor- worked on it together. He produced it and well, we really co-produced it but that's great um and uh, yeah so when i say kind of a, a psychedelic element to it there's a song i'm going to do a little later um that takes place in nepal and if i just do it as a guy with a guitar uh an acoustic guitar you that doesn't convey the feeling so we put a lot of candy in it and uh you know um, post post-production i think they, they call that 
What's that? Post production. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I'm told that's what they call that. So um, yeah, and only certain songs are that really that way. Not there. It's not like fully that way. But um, the song you just heard is pretty much that. I mean, with drums, bass, etc. So it has more of a full band sound. Yeah. So. Well, the new album is called Scenes from a Dream. Yep. And uh, we actually have two autographed copies. And I have a little quiz here. Uh, and the second question, I won't ask the first question, but I'll ask the second question on the, uh, the quiz. And uh, this, is, this is from, uh, from Miss Millie. And she wants to know, now you didn't name, you, 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 you mentioned Nepal, but that's not the answer okay. to this question. It says, what country did Brian Rivers live in for a few years? Could they find that out at your website? or I don't know. Maybe they I had don't know to if have there's been anything on my website that maybe they that. had to have been listening eleven years ago and yeah and, could be yeah or okay well any am, any so. of you that were listening eleven years ago and the last time he was on the show he did talk about it so give us a call at eight one three two three nine nine six six three talk to Millie or uh, I just talk to Millie she's uh, she's doing the uh, control room duty today and give her the answer you'll get an autographed copy of Brian's new album. Scenes from a dream. Let's have another song. Okay. Um, this is about my dog, um, Daisy, and uh, it's about a dog. Down Edgewood Alley, she sees a dragonfly Thinking by chasing it that she can learn to fly Because she's really dumb Back in the garden, she scratches and she licks Her nose goes to a hedge where she has found a brand new stick I try to teach that new dog an old trick, but she is really dumb. That's why she's lots of fun. She's got no idea what work is. She's got no tax to file. She doesn't know who Jesus was or what's the latest style. She's perfectly contented. To chase her tail in circles any dog day afternoon Because she's really dumb But old Daisy's having fun She rolls round in the grass and plants her poops in Dobbins Park now that she's teething, her bite's worse than her bark. She's destroying Cheyenne's homework with a vengeance of a shark because she's really dumb. That's why she's lots of fun. She's got no idea what work is. She's got no tax to file. She doesn't know who Elvis was or What's the latest style? She's drinking toilet water Just as if she's sipping tea with the queen And she's perfectly contented To chase her tail in circles And a dog day afternoon Because she's really dumb But old Daisy What a sweet song. Oh. Dave's That's a great song. Sweet dog, so yeah. Yeah. How long have you had her? Well, we had her till about three years ago. She oh, was, she's uh, no uh, longer around. So, yeah, yeah. Are you going to yeah. get another dog? Don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a tough one. Yeah, um, I, I know. I have lots of like, friends. How do, you, how do you replace a dog? So, yeah. Uh, well, I have some friends who lost their last dog recently, and it is a very difficult decision. 
Okay. Yeah. 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 No, it, it, it really is. That's, I, it's, it's a really traumatizing event. I mean, part, of, part of my friend says, well, part of me says, oh, i got to get another dog. And another part of me says, no, I think I'll just go without it for a while. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and that's, that's, yeah, that's, too that's traumatic. where we are with it. It's, let's, let's give some time and, and maybe and maybe not. We'll, we'll just see. So, yeah. Well, folks, Brian Rivers is our ghost. Uh, our ghost. Yes. Brian yes. Rivers, uh, a ghost of his former self. He's, he's our guest on <laughs> yeah. today's live music showcase. And uh, uh, we're happy to have him back with us after a long, and I'm not going to use the word hiatus, uh, after a long absence from the show. Yeah. He's back here with his, uh, his new album, which is called Scenes from a Dream. And um, I asked a question. I don't know if we've had anybody uh, call up yet, but I'll ask it again. If you can give us a call here at 813-239-9663 with the answer to the question, what country did Brian live in for a few years? You'll win an uh, autographed copy of his self, uh, <coughs> the self-same new album, Scenes from a Dream. Also, we'd like to thank our crew here. we got a great crew on the Live Music Showcase. Mark Perfetti's in the booth mixing it all together. Uh, Marcy Connors is assisting today. We've got uh, on cameras, we've got our director, Bob Hoke, and Richard Stone, Bill Brame, and Tom Connors here on the video cameras. Steve Arduango and Mildred Matos produce this show. Millie's uh, manning the phones today, or uh, she's taking care of the phones today, would be a better way to describe that. And you can send her a message at uh, dj at wmnf.org if you want to react to this show or any aspect of it. Or call 813-239-9663. So, we are also sending this out live on Facebook. You go to Facebook.com, type in LMSWMNF, and you'll see the live feed of this very radio show. Very exciting. Later on this evening, it'll be posted on YouTube, on our very own WMNF YouTube channel, and that's, that is uh, WMNF885FM. Get to the YouTube. We'd also like to thank all the people that called in last week and donated. We made our goal for the first time in, uh, in 63 years, and we really appreciate that. So if you haven't paid your pledge, go ahead and do that. And uh, you, can still, you can still call, and you can still uh, go to the website and check out the tip jar there if you want to contribute. You didn't get a chance to last week, but we are real happy that we did make our goal last week on this show. Congratulations. Yeah. So what's this next one? Um, this is called In Angela's Dreams. So, um, without further ado. All of the boys love Angela. She doesn't seem to know. Locked in a world of make believe. Just wants to. Left alone. She draws all her dreams on paper towels, haunted by angels, it seems. The ones of the windmills seem so real. I fall into Angela's dreams. I am in Angela's dreams. The secret she keeps, the demon she chases, the way she embraces the night. Why does she hide if she'd only step into the light from the doorway? Silhouettes, Angela's deep despair. What makes us all so spellbound still? Why do we even care? Angela does not even know. She moves the moon and the stars. All of the parts can Angela's tragic heart Angela's tortured heart Out on her edge Though she lets him Helplessly hover around The neighbors agree Something ain't right with that child Angela does not even know She moves the moon and the stars all of the parts can't move without Angela's tragic heart Angela's tortured heart The secret she keeps The 
demons she chases Voices she hears through the wall What makes her tick? Why does she hide? Does she even see us at all? The boys from Canada But she doesn't seem to know Locked in a world of make-believe Just wants to be left alone Mm, nice song. Is that a new one? Uh, fairly new, yeah. It's probably about three years old, I'm guessing, somewhere in that. Scene. You know, when I, I guess the first time I ever heard you uh, pick and sing, probably, I guess, 20 years ago or so, you were doing a lot of sort of Renaissance festival, yeah, kind of yeah. real sort of old Englishy kind of ballady, mm -hmm. kind of real sweet songs, nice melodies that you had written. And I was really uh, had a lot of admiration for that because I love the I love old English stuff yeah, anyway. Yeah. I'm, a, yeah. I'm a sort of an Anglophile, but uh, then you sort of uh, you know evolved into some other stuff, right? Yeah. You want to talk a little bit about that? About the that evolution? whole that, that yeah your whole uh, pro progression. Yeah, I mean, well, gosh, um, I started really writing songs in the 80s, and at first it was really interesting that I was trying not to sound Dan Fogelbergish because that's what people, you know, Well, you have, kind a, of you have a nice voice me. like Dan. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I, I think I got that so much, and, and, uh, and other artists that, that were like that, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, that, that I really wanted to listen to uh, different things, um, you know, try to find as many uh, different influences that, that, that were outside of myself. So I think that really didn't happen until maybe the, around um, 2000, around there. I, I just felt a change in my, my songwriting. Uh -huh. so. What it, Was that in response to something? Not any one particular thing except that, uh, well, uh, the program I was teaching in closed at Florida Southern, and I had more time to devote to music. I played like on a cruise ship for a while, which oh, I don't wow. recommend. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> Not, just going to ask you about But that. I got, I got, I got a, you know, I really got my chops in then. And, and you, gained, um, you gained 100 pounds? Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> really? I don't, I don't go for the... Uh, for the Mexican buffet at midnight. That, that's hell on a body. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why people do that stuff. Because it's a cruise ship. They yeah, just, they, yeah. That's not me. Hell with it. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> no. No. Uh, no, I didn't do that. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, and, and so what I found is I had, like, when I wasn't playing, I, I, uh, I, fa I found myself being more creative and, and actually kicking in another gear and, and writing songs. So that oh. was 99, 2000, 2000 two in there was was i wrote really a, a lot of stuff during that time and, uh -huh. and that's where i think the the changes really came uh -huh. you were talking about yeah yeah so your songs have a lot more i guess a little more bite to them a little more yeah a little more substance perhaps yeah, yeah. well that's great well folks uh brian rivers is our guest and we did have a winner <laughs> it, was, it was your buddy robert called up <laughs> Okay. But he didn't, of course, you know, since he produced the CD, he said, well, we'll leave it for somebody else to win. So okay. then the new winner is Paul Woods of Plant City, who's an old friend of yours, right? He's a friend of yours, friend of Robert's. Or, anyways, Paul, he's, I, I, he's a friend I, I, of somebody's, and he, he wins the CD. Well, we have another question, and that question could be easily answered if you are looking <laughs> at our Facebook Live feed, which is at facebook.com slash LMSWMNF. And, uh, but if you call us right now at 813-239-9663, uh, tell Millie what, uh, whether Brian Rivers is left or right-handed. That, that, uh, that would get you an autographed copy of that new CD, Scenes from a Dream by Brian Rivers. Well, this has nothing to do with the answer, but I sing left-handed. Oh, shouldn't give that away. Oh, okay. <laughs> but do you ever sing backwards? No, I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, you might want to try that. That okay. might be good, okay. you know. <laughs> or, and, and, you know, a satanic messages or, you know, they used to be very big, too. You were, we were talking about that earlier, embedded in your tunes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Anyway, <laughs> do a regular tune for us. A regular tune. I don't know what a regular tune is um, versus an irregular tune. Yeah, do an irregular tune. Okay. Um I'm going to do one that I was actually talking to you out, uh, about, um, and and when I mentioned the the folkadelic aspect of this, um, I like folkadelic. 
Yeah. Um, this is called Holy Joe, and it's about um, a man I met on the street in Nepal, in, in Kathmandu, um, who uh, was said he was a holy man, but he was begging, which didn't make a whole lot of sense. And just a conversation that we had, he, he, he wanted money to to get a blanket to keep his feet warm, hmm. which made sense. And I said, well, you know, and he told me about how he gave his possessions away. So why did you give your stuff away if you're begging for stuff, was my question. Yeah, that makes kind of sense. And in the real story, he just kind of laughed, and I laughed, and we never really got anywhere with that particular thing. But <laughs> that's what essentially the song's based on. So this oh. is called, he, he called himself Brother Joseph, and I, I call him Holy Joe. <laughs> Brother Joe got a hole in his soul and a longing to atone. The squandered youth brought a quest for the truth and it left him on a path alone. Back a year or two, he come up to Kathmandu. When he gave his possessions away I met him there In Durbar Square Said a vision took him there one day He asked me Can you spare any rupees For a blanket to warm these old feet I said Next time you decide to give up all that you own, why don't you hang on to what you're gonna need? Holy Joe lived down in a hole, said he could hear God better down there. And who am I to question why when he got so much? God to spare He asked me Can you spare any rupees For a blanket to warm these old feet I said Next time you decide to give up All that you own Why don't you hang on To what you're gonna need Brother Joe Got big holes in his soles And if there's one thing He sure could use Besides a blanket And a long hot back Was a decent pair of shoes He asked me Can you spare any rupees For a blanket to warm these old feet Gave him pocket change in my old tennis shoes and said, I'm glad we got a chance to meet. That old holy man with his orange flowing robe and my sneakers. He sure was a sight to see. Looked kind of like Mr. Natural strolling along, probably. Still trucking down that street Holy Joe lived down in a hole Said he could hear God better down there Who am I to question why When he got so much God to share Good job. Brian Rivers, our guest on today's live music showcase here from WMNF in Tampa. I'm enjoying the songs, and uh, and you can too out there in Radio Land if you want to check out Brian live. He's got uh, some gigs coming up. You want me to just read these? Yeah. Um, six, nine. Is that tonight? That's tonight, yeah. yeah. Six, nine. He's going to be at the uh, at O'Brien's Irish Pub. And maybe I'll see Paul Wood out there. Yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul will probably make it. Mm-hmm. 
O'Brien's Irish Pub in Plant City, and uh, it's tonight. And then, what time you think? Uh, Five thirty to eight thirty. Oh, happy hour kind of thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, there's a band afterwards. Yeah. Okay. And then next week I play eight to eleven. It's weird. They, they, they do that sometimes. Yeah. Well, next next week uh, on uh, on the sixteenth is that next Friday? Yeah. You'll be at the Poor Porker. Yeah. Which is at 8, 801 East Main Street in Lakeland. Yeah. It's actually called 801 East Main Street, Lakeland. Uh, but nobody knows. When I when people say, where are you playing Friday night? And I say, 801 East Main. You I've say, never heard of that? it. Yeah. You ever heard of Poor Porker? Oh, yeah. So that's why I, I okay. they're probably cursing me right now. Uh, <laughs> well, if you, poor if poor you bring a bunch of folks in to listen, they, they, they'll be happy. Yeah. And then you're back at O'Brien's the next night, week yep. from uh, Saturday. At, uh, That's eight to eleven, yeah. Also. yeah. Both of those eight to eleven, yeah. And uh, and then on the twenty second, you'll be at Fresco's in Lakeland. Is that yep. a restaurant? Yep. That's downtown Lakeland. Oh, um, cool. So you really get around? Uh, no, this time of year. That's that's about it. I, you know, I usually have maybe uh, five gigs a month in well, the, now that you're in a the w- doldrums of summer. Well, it, now that you're a WMNF Live Music Showcase yeah, celebrity, you, you maybe you yeah, know, those gigs go. will just be yeah, rolling yeah. in there. I'll get the Dudley bounce, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't. That would be nice, I suppose. <laughs> I, keep, I love this I, conveyor. I you keep know, waiting it for it myself. Notes. <laughs> they hand us uh, pieces of paper in, and then one comes in the door on one side of the studio, and then the, one camera person hands it to the next camera person, and then they hand it to me. So that's what he's talking about, folks. It's quite an operation we have here. Uh, <clears throat> we want to thank, uh, we want to tell you that support for WMNF comes from our members and Creative Loafing, presenting Meet the Chefs. CL's kicking off Tampa Bay Restaurant Week 2017. That's on June 15th at The Vault with Refineries Chef Greg Baker, Ava's Chef Joshua Hernandez, Select Dishes, and more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Details at cltampa.com slash chefs. Meet the chefs. That sounds good. I like to meet the food, actually. That's what I prefer that. Brian? Got another song for us? Yep. Um, <clears throat> this one's called Escape from Margaritaville. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. This is an answer to Jimmy Buffett's song? Yeah, it's about not being Jimmy Buffett. And it actually came from, I was talking about the, the my period of time on a, playing on a cruise ship. And a lot of the gigs just around that time, uh, people think, okay, you're... you're your guy with a guitar. Middle aged white guy with a with with a uh, acoustic guitar. You must know in Florida. You must know every Jimmy Buffett song known to man. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I wrote this, and um, you know, it's it's. I, I kind of hesitated to play it. I go, I don't know if people will get it. And the first time I played it, I think it it, it kind of didn't go over. Or people weren't listening or whatever. And I played it a, a um, a benefit concert for the hurricane. Uh, the the three hurricanes that came through in huh. in. Um, 2004, and I went backstage uh, afterwards, uh, did my set at Skipper's, and, and uh, everybody back there went, man, I could have written that song. Like, all the, everybody, you know, all the songwriters back there uh, totally validated it for me. So, so it was in at that point, and, and now it's, it's one of my re- most requested songs. So. so here goes. I've been playing cops and coffee house gigs down the west coast of Florida for years. Out of the door and all of the smoke Worth it for the tips and the beer Every now and then someone comes in Gotta hear Buffett all night One night some drunk parrot head came in Looked like he was looking to fight I said, I ain't Jimmy Buffett I ain't never been famous or rich He's a son of a son of a sailor I'm just a son of a son of a bitch Maybe someday I will escape from Margaritaville If only a break comes my way So spare me the attitude Give me some latitude Cause I got my own songs to play He wasn't sure just how to react so I quickly started to play Hank Williams and Eagles Some of my stuff, some Beatles And I mixed in lots of A1A I said, me and Jimmy got this arrangement So far it's worked out just fine I don't do too many of his songs And he 
don't do any of mine Cause I ain't Jimmy Buffett I ain't never been famous or rich He's a son of a son of a sailor I'm just a son of a son of a bitch Maybe someday I will escape from Margaritaville If only a break comes my way so Spare me the attitude Give me some latitude Cause I got my own songs to play Let's call it the Blue Oasis That parrot head's passed out at the bar His old lady asked me if maybe I could help get him out to the car On the way out he was semi-coherent And I was his brand new best friend He said he liked my stuff, it reminded him of Buffett So he'd come out to hear me again Cause I ain't Jimmy Buffett I ain't never been famous or rich He's a son of a son of a sailor Man, I'm just a son of a son of a bitch Maybe someday I will escape from Margaritaville If only a break comes my way So spare me the attitude Give me some latitude Cause I got my own songs to play Yes, I got my own songs I thought you were going to break into a little tiny bit of a Jimmy Buffett song there at the very no, no, end. No, no, no. no. That would no, be no, good, no. though. <laughs> Think about it. I have started with Margaritaville and lapsed into that before. Okay. But, but I think it disappoints people. I want to hear Margaritaville. What's this? So I, I, I stopped doing that. Brian Rivers, our guest on today's live music showcase here from WMNF in Tampa. Dean Guitars, we'd like to thank D Drum, located and made right here in Tampa, for donating the drum kit used in the live music studio. More at ddrum.com. And we also uh, want to let you know that support for WMNF comes from our members and Happy Feet Plus, known for Birkenstock sandals and Kenko, the Japanese massage sandals that practice the science of healing with acupressure and reflexology. Online at Happy Feet. Dot com. I'd like to thank our great live music showcase crew. Uh oh, they're handing me another. Note. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on a sec. Be right back. What's this? Whole bunch of stuff here. Oh my. Oh my. 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 Sounds serious. Bill in St. Pete says, <clears throat> "I'm taking my eight-month-old puppy swimming as we listen to this music. God bless WMNF. Patience is super smart. She is saving my life." Hmm. He also enclosed a picture of the puppy with sunglasses on. Uh, Dennis says, very enjoyable artist, some touching songs. Thank you. And Sarah from Tampa says, what's the inspiration for his artwork on his website, the paintings? You wanna... um, I hate to say this. I don't remember which which paintings I have on my website. Oh, uh, my. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, okay. Uh, one is... Um... I'm thinking there's one of, of a couple of monks in... Um, These are your paintings? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm trying to remember what's in there, but um, I, I think I have one of a couple of monks in, um, in from Thailand, uh, and I can't even tell you what's on the rest. Boy, you caught me flat-footed on oh, that. Oh, well, that's all right. But, you, you know, we should uh, mention that you did live in Japan for a while. Yeah. And that was the answer to that first question. Yep. Nobody uh, has actually answered the uh, the question of whether you're left or right-handed. Wow. So, so it's uh, a binary choice, people. Yeah. You got a 50% chance of getting it right. <laughs> so might as well give us a call here at 813-239-9663. Talk to Millie. And, you know, I mean, give it a shot, you know. <laughs> I could win a, a beautiful CD. It's really nice I play CD. with my feet. <laughs> That's the secret. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's only two ways to go on that. Brian yeah. Rivers is our guest, and uh, okay. as I said earlier in the show, Brian used to come on our show quite often, and so he sort of laid off for about a decade. <laughs> God, that, that sounds awful. <laughs> makes it sound, <laughs> make it sound pretty significant when you say it like that. Right? It really does. You can, now you I want to hide. You can, uh, you can see our show. You can watch what we're doing here live. If you got, really don't have anything else to do, you can 
Check out our Facebook live feed. That's facebook.com slash LMSWMNF. And later on this evening, our show will also be archived on YouTube at uh, WMNF 885 FM. Just search for that and you'll get it. You can listen to the show anytime you want on our uh, WMNF.org website. And we'd like to thank all the great folks, and I mean that sincerely, folks really uh, stepped up last week to help us actually uh, go over our goal on last week's fundraiser. And I'm proud to say that I didn't have anything to do with it. It was uh, Jeannie, Jeannie Holton and Mildred Matos who were doing the pitching, and uh, it was a great show. Anyway, though, we had a great band on. And you can watch that on YouTube, too. You can watch our last year's worth of shows on YouTube if you want. But anyway, that's the past. Let's continue with the future with Brian Rivers. He's, got, he's here with his guitar and his original songs. What's this next one? I think I'm going to do one that's not on the album because uh, somebody asked me to do this. Um, be on the next album? Um, maybe so. Uh, maybe you'll record it. We'll that, see. That'd be, that would be, that would be 20. <laughs> I think this is one that you said, I'd like to record that. Or 20, like, that'd be, be 2028. 20, so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> No, it won't be that long. Um, this is this is one that uh, um, I wrote about Florida, basically. I mean, it's it's um, so I just did um, Escape from Margarita. Also, um, this is my Florida uh, portion of the keeping of the with set. The Florida, yeah, the Florida, Florida theme, theme here. here. So um, yeah, my I was driving down the road. This is years ago, uh, like two thousand two or something, and and my daughter said. Um, is there really a place called Yeehaw Junction? And <laughs> and I said, yeah, you know, very innocently, like it was Emerald City. And yeah, yeah, get out the map when people still had maps. And uh, so she, she found it on the map. She was giggling her head off. There's a place called Christmas. There's a place. And I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> two yeah, eggs. Kinda, get two eggs in. Yeah, right. Two first eggs, verse. Yeah. That's, that's right up front. Okay. So this is called Walking Florida. I apologize if I can't hit the Yeehaws. From A1A to Zuber, I cross Florida by lake. Well, I've dined in spuds and mango, hold the mayo into egg. From tangerine to cocoa, Bean City, High Paluxo. I even stopped in Biflo, got my fill of sweet water. From Moki Finoki down to Lake Okeechobee. Yee-ha! Junction on the way. Cops said, why don't you tell me, please, why you walking on them cypress knees? I said, I locked my car in the keys, just feel like walking home. I climbed Mount Dora and Mount Pleasant, but they were not even hills. At sunrise and at surfside, sunny side of Pass Grill. Please kiss Simmy on my ack ahead. Why, mama, I painted linen red. Well, I braved the corkscrew swamp instead of playing in Yankee Town. From Moki Finoki down to Lake Okeechobee, with a junction on the way. Cops said, why don't you tell me, please, why you walking on the cypress knees? I said, I locked my car in the keys, just feel like walking home. I saw Charlotte, Jerome, Quincy, and Ponce de Leon. Lady Lake and Romeo to Howie in the hills I've gone. Well, I stopped to bed in Eloise. I saw Mormon by the sea. With Juanita, it was clear to me I had to find Waldo. From Moki Finoki down to Lake Okeechobee. God said, why don't you tell me, please, why you walking on them cypress knees? I said, I locked my car in the keys, just feel like walking home. I took a world tour of Florida, from Geneva down to Venice. Havana, Oslo, and Hollywood, holiday seemed like Christmas. I battled through Vicksburg one day, even got shot down in Midway. Well, I sleepwalk down to Santa Fe, but what a hoot, what a hoot it was. And I stopped to watch the mutants tanning there on Neptune Beach. Going by way of Enterprise, Venus was in reach. 
man, but Jupiter was nice. A panacea I visited twice. Eureka, it was paradise. But I got lost in Ozona. From Okie Pinocchi down to Lake Okeechobee. Yeehaw! Junction on the way. Cops said, why don't you tell me, please, why are you walking on them cypress knees? I said, I locked my car in the keys, just feel like walking home. Feel like walking Florida. Feel like walking home. Make a suki swanee, wakey, watch a chat of Well, what about Sop Choppy? What's that? Sop Choppy. Don't know Sop Choppy. Oh, Where's that? Gonna have to add another verse on that. <clears throat> you know how many times I have people <laughs> tell me I've got to add a verse to that? <laughs> oh, you mean I'm not the first one? <laughs> yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> not the first one today? <laughs> yeah. so, oh, my. Sop Choppy and uh, Econolahatchee and... <laughs> All those Achies, especially when you get north. Yeah, yeah, yeah Wislicucci. Yeah, yeah. Krumacucci. Krum, I never heard yeah, of I know Krum, but I don't Krum, know Krumacucci. Krum, Krumacucci is uh, in between Krum and Wislicucci. No, okay. it's, it's, a, it, okay. it's just a little area. But uh, yeah, you got a couple more verses, you know, as time goes <laughs> yeah. on. It, it's four and a half minutes long. It needs to be six and a half minutes long. Sure it does. <laughs> Brian Rivers is our guest today on the Live Music Showcase, folks. I'm Bill Dudley. I'm your host here on uh, Friday afternoons from WMNF in Tampa. Mark Perfetti does the mixing on our show most weeks. Today he's, uh, he's assisted by Marcy Connors, and we've got our great video crew. Bob Hoke directs the whole thing, and uh, on cameras we've got Richard Stone, Bill Brame, and Tom Connors. And uh, Steve Arduango produces this radio show. He's assisted by Mildred Matos, and Millie is manning the. Uh, Millie is at the phones today. I always want to say that. Uh, Millie is at the phones today, and she's uh, womaning the phones. Yeah, that's right. You can call her at eight one three two three nine nine six six three, or send her a little uh, email at dj at wmnf dot org. Now, if you want to be on the show or have somebody that you know should be on the show. You can always get in touch with Steve, our producer, at live music at WMNF.org. And you can listen to past shows at WMNF.org. You can leave some money for us in the tip jar. And uh, we'd really appreciate your support, as so many people did last week. It allowed us to reach our goal and exceed it here on the Live Music Showcase. We're very happy about that. It's always good when you <laughs> reach your goal on this this show hasn't it doesn't happen every decade, but uh, so that was really good. I'm not sure we got a uh, I'm not sure we got an answer to our, uh, our our last question, but I don't think I ever answered the first question, which was Japan. You yeah, lived in I, Japan you, for a while. Now, that, yeah. is that may, where you met your 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 significant other? No, um, she's she is Japanese, but we met at, at USF when oh, I was okay. um, in grad school. And then you went back there to live for yep. a while. Yep. Okay. Well, how was that? Oh, it's great. Did um, you? Are there any songs that came out of that experience of living there? Um, kind of. There are ones I haven't done in a long time. Though, okay. So, yeah. Well, I won't um, put you on the spot there, but yeah, no, I I couldn't conjure up any um, any of them right now. Yeah. I mean, just a couple anyway. Did you learn to speak J Japanese? Very poorly. Mm -hmm. um, I could get by. Enough to um, get around. Yeah, I mean, I had to talk to taxi drivers and stuff to because um, for the, for the company I was teaching with, I had to, you know, I mean, I took taxis and trains and stuff so i mean just the day-to-day -day life you gotta you gotta be able to function but i imagine a lot of people there speak some english right oh yeah i mean plenty plenty and and i hung out with a lot of my students too uh -huh. so um there was a restaurant just a few doors down from the from the school that a, an american guy um from washington um owned and that was kind of the hub for all the uh all the gaijin all the all the foreigners living there and the Japanese that wanted free English lessons from, you know, talking to them. So um, nothing wrong with that. Great, great place. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of places good. like that. So, yeah, it was. It was. Well, Brian Rivers is going to be appearing, <clears throat> excuse me, several places around the Bay Area here where you can go see him. You can go see him tonight in Plant City at O'Brien's Irish Pub. He's doing the happy hour thing at 530. 
Uh, you can go see him tomorrow, uh, next week, next Friday night at the Poor Porker, which is actually East. It's actually 801 East Main Street in Lakeland. And he'll be back at O'Brien's next Saturday in Plant City. And then he'll be at Fresco's in Lakeland on 622. What, uh, what it's night? It's a Thursday. A Thursday night. Okay, good. Yeah. 8 to 11. Yeah, yeah. And he's got his new album, Scenes from a Dream. You've got a website, brianrivers.com. Brian is spelled B-R-Y-A-N. Thanks, yeah. Rivers is spelled R-I-V-E-R-S. <laughs> that's that's the easy part. It's the Brian that everybody screws up. I know. There's so. several ways to spell Brian. Yep. yep. Well, we've got about, uh, we've got about 10 more minutes if we so can squeeze in maybe... Two more? Yeah, two yeah. or three, whatever okay. you can okay, do. Okay, yeah, okay. We'd like to end with music, and then the people that are watching us on Facebook Live or our YouTube uh, archive will be able to hear the whole song, but we might fade it out for the folks listening on the, on the air. So, yeah, what's this next one? It's called Howl at the Moon. The sun has breached the edge of the horizon And I remember how to breathe I ain't so proud The shoes that I stand in Still I aim to please Man cross a table Spouting platitudes and missives Voluntelling all directives From a queen Dissecting me With his twisted knowing smile Like he's on the verge of knowing what he means I drift into a waking sleep It's high time I got out of this room Where I can't even hear myself dream It's my night to howl at the moon out a primal screen Tilting at windmills the Details of the devil Just spoiling for a fight For the tongue That lashes lavish praises The tease that tickles like a knife Drift into a waking sleep And it's high time I got out of this room Where I can't even hear myself dream And it's my night to howl at the moon out a prime High time I got out of this room Where I can't even hear myself dream It's my night to out the moon out of primal screen The sun has breached the edge of the horizon and I remember how to breathe. Very nice song. Brian Rivers, folks. He's our guest on today's live music showcase here from WMNF in Tampa. This show happens every Friday afternoon at 2.06. And we're happy to have all of you tuned in today on, uh, on the radio, on the Internet, and on Facebook Live. Yeah, we've actually got about six minutes you, okay. you can Could squeeze you, uh, in uh, yeah. a couple of songs, okay. maybe do a little medley or something. No, I don't have any medleys, but I, I, I got... Uh, we'll run one into the yeah. other. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and it's been great having you on the show. It's great being had. Yeah. Brian Rivers. You can check him out at brianrivers.com, B-R-Y-A-N, rivers.com. He's got a new, a new CD, and uh, we're happy to have him back again after such a long absence. What's this last one going to be? These oh, last we're going to do one more? Okay. Uh, no, no, last Our, our Lady, more. it's called Our Lady of the Dawn. This is on Wait the album. Hang on a second. They're, oh, they're oh, passing me another Fan note. mail from some flounder. Yes, 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 yes. 
Oh, geez, I got a whole bunch of stuff to read. Uh, Dennis oh. Heinz from Brooksville is the, the winner. In a close second, Suzanne. Looking and sounding great, Brian. I'm enjoying the show, says Suzanne. C says, love the music. Is he ambidextrous? Question mark. Harvey says, I'm sure he plays with both hands. <laughs> you received a few more calls asking if he plays with both. Enjoying the music, thanks. Byron of Sulphur Springs says, and the, the answer is, of course, that he's left-handed. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be any point in asking the question, so you could guess that one. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> what color is the red barn? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. congratulations so, to Dennis from Brooksville. What a lovely spot. So, you, ever, you ever get up that way? It's really nice. Uh, really nice up there. No, I haven't in years. Got I, mean, hills I used to go up camping there. up in that area. Yeah. Um, you mentioned Croom and Withlacoochee and all that. that. That that was an area that I knew well in High school and college and stuff. Caves um, up there, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's this last one? Okay. Um, this is called Our Lady of the Dawn, and it's, uh, yeah, it's one that's... And if we give you a keep playing, just keep playing, yeah, just and we'll have a bonus song. tune for our Facebook people. And that'll people. be uh, called The Scarecrow's Tale, um, which is about uh, kind of the, the Scarecrow's take on, the, uh, on, on Dorothy's leaving and just the whole... Great. Thing. So, here we go. Watching all the stars dissolving... You stood voiceless, face against the wind When you finally found the words to tell her She heard voices telling you to leave And she tried to make you think she needs you Slowly bleed, you couldn't walk away Certainty, she drew them to the flame. They all came to see the humble rise that came to find Our Lady of the Dawn is here and then she's gone. All the way to miles from nowhere in a driving rain. You drove into the night And you laughed your way right to her defenses Tore down the fences Standing in the way Through blinding light of certainty She drew them to the flame They all came to see The mighty fall That came to find Our Lady of the Dawn Never around for long. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Da 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 da. La da 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 da. When she finally found the words to tell you, you heard voices. Telling you to leave She tried to make believe She didn't need you Slowly bleed You had to walk away The blinding light Of certainty She drew them To the flame They all came to see A parting glance That came to find Our Lady of the Dawn Is here in All the way to miles from nowhere In a driving rain You drove into the night For the longest time Pinned to that post I had no luck scaring crows Out of the field Till a little girl from Kansas Just turned a nail Sent me dancing in a world That seemed unreal 
No tin man and a lion. They're best of friends. We stepped out of the woods and into the light. For a while, we even ditched that wicked witch. But the wizard said we were in for a fight. He told me, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Use an umbrella when monkeys fly overhead. There's not much in this land you'll find that is certain. So be sure to keep that stuffing in your head. We melted that old witch. And Dorothy clicked her heels where the yellow brick road never ends. She said. There's no place like home, though we still be worlds apart. Home is in the hearts of your friends. She said, "Better pay attention, that man behind the curtain. Use an umbrella." When monkeys fly overhead, there's not much in this land you'll find that is certain. So be sure to keep that stuffing in your head, and you can find me somewhere over the rainbow, where the yellow brick road never ends. There's no place like home. Though we still be worlds apart, home is in the hearts of your friends.